he's always there. Even when I'm not looking. I cannot do anything. I can't call the police. I'm stuck. Really, I am. Last night, 2 a.m. I'm home in bed in utter silence. And then there's Ned. He's there. Always looking, but what can I do? Nothing. I can't do anything, so I need help, I tell you. It's a monster, or at least someone who wants me. Wants to kill me. But why me? There are plenty of people in this world. Bigger people. Bad people. All these people could be a target. But I am the one Ned wants. I'm lost to why he is there. Always there. Lauren, I think you just need to calm down. You're probably just seeing things. There are no monsters or strangely weird humans behind you. So, I think getting some rest won't do you any harm, would it? Why do you not believe me? Am I insane? You're saying I'm insane. 10 p.m. Tuesday, he's there. 3 a.m. Thursday, he's there. 12.30 p.m. Friday, he's there. Can you hear him? No, but I can. Maybe I am insane, but I live by what I see, Dr. Rad, not what I think. Get some rest, Lauren, and I'll see you soon. Okay? You have to understand, Doctor. You won't be there when the lights go out. What's wrong, sweetie? You're by the window. Just the two of us. 